25% completion at sub-level 6. So, do the math. We have 40 treasures left. 40! Probably gonna fight a uh, man at legs here in a bit. Or right now? Oh! Stop, Louie! Didn't expect to see you so early. Um, there he is, Louie. Bye, bud. Go get him, Jeffrey! Where'd he go? Louie! I can leave. Wait, hold on. <gasps> it's the rest music floor! Music. This is one of my favorite tracks in the franchise. And it probably has the obnoxious uh, jingle taken out. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, first on off Glowman. One, two. Come on. I love this song. It's so peaceful. It's it's just like a a garden. A solemn, sad, beautiful garden. I love this track. Honestly, that's a great reward in and of itself. Okay. Bloom them. Freeze this at a... <laughs> We're gonna freeze this at a glacial pace! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! It's been a while since I've had a good pun that I could say take satisfaction in like that. I don't know what is under this. A button? Oh, the continuation. Wait, but what's up above? Hold, hold on. How do I get up there? What? How? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Go on this. Takes me up here. Oh, we, we can get more. Sweet. Good. I was gonna say five ice Pikmin is not really that much. Again, they're one of the Pikmin types that you really just want to have as many as possible, and having having a few just makes them kind of worthless, which is weird. They're actively kind of useless if they you don't have a bunch. Okay, let's wait. Pikmin 2 has some really good music. The area themes are the best, by far, in the franchise. But it... It also has this issue with a lot of its cave, tr cave tracks. They were meant for, first off, bad speakers, and so they're balanced very strangely as a result. They were, you know, I mean, they're CRT-era songs. But they're also meant to be extremely quiet. And so, again, they're mixed in such a way that they're able to be heard even when turned down. And when listened to at full volume, they have some extremely obnoxious segments. I'm not gonna- I'm not going to put on my rose-tinted glass and say that Pikmin 2 has the best music of the, the, the franchise by far, but there are some of its tracks that if remixed it with modern sensibilities, like in this game, they're truly beautiful. Sub-level 7. Cavern for a King. Again, I'm really glad that this isn't a Dandori challenge. While rushing is cool and difficult and adds a new layer of complexity to the game and difficulty, it also, so far, this game hasn't really been difficult when it hasn't been hectic, and it's nice for it to try and, ooh, that was risky, introduce that difficulty. This is a, uh, oh, this is the, oh, no, we've seen this guy before. Um, you know what? I don't want to deal with you, because he can throw Pikmin off the side. 
Yeah. I have ice Pikmin. I don't have reds. Okay, there's a slope down to this, which means I can leave this with a charge. Maybe just kill this guy off the cuff. Haha! -ha. Did that fall from the ceiling? That fell from the ceiling. That didn't come from inside him. Don't you lie to me. Oh, you're heavy. Alright, let's wait for this to be done. This one was pretty easy, if I do say so myself. A little bit scary. The bottomless pit is really frightening to me. Like, it's one of those things. I forget what it's called. There's like an actual term for it I learned on Reddit the other day. When you're like driving a car and you realize how easy it would be for you to just... I think it's called Glimpse of the Abyss or Glimpse of the Void. Where you realize how easy it would be for you to just make one little mo um, like movement of your arm and kill you and the person in oncoming traffic. And it's not like a suicidal thought. It's just like an intrusive thought of how how close death is at all times. That's kind of what I'm having here. Although this is literally a void. It'd be so easy for me to just whoopsie daisy. Total party KO. Scary, man. Or clip out of bounds. That's also a concern. <laughs> Oh, this one's pretty. Oh, it's one of the mud floors. Okay. I don't have flying Pikmin, so this might be a little bit weird. Oh, it's one of these guys. I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. Also, we're back in the 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 uh, Animal Crossing Museum exhibit. Okay, so yeah, he has the fur on the underside of the tail. He can charge. Do ice... Oh, yeah, we weigh him down. We weigh him down. That's what happens. Okay, so that that's pretty good. So two purples. Ten, ten, ten. Go. Way down. Easy. Get the charge ready. This should kill him in one go. Not quite, not quite. Whistle him up. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? What on earth? I whistled them. I whistled them, and they just walked the complete wrong direction. What was that? That's stupid. That's not... I didn't do that. Die. I'm whistling you. Come to me. I whistled them like three times, and they just decided, no, we're just going to run straight into its mouth. I lost five Pikmin for that. Pikmin's got a Pikmin, I guess. Bethesda's gonna Bethesda. Huh. Now I gotta be careful. I, I gotta stand next to this so they don't just randomly drown as we experienced before. Because the, the enemy's too wide. That wasn't my fault. Sub-level 9. Cavern for a king. Okay. Um, that's scary. 50. Okay, so we're taking- we're taking blues. That's... I'm a bit nervous about that. Thankfully, we have... 5. I'd also like to try something. I have an idea. I, have a, I just got a random idea looking at my pack. Let's go to our shortcuts. Change Ice Blast. Oh, let me, no, I'm fine with Ice Blast. We're going to grab some Pick Pick Carrots. Strangely. I have a feeling that he might go after them with his, his shots. And then I can just throw pre-throw them? Uh, let's go... Ooh. We have We have ice... I'm going to save that candy pot, bud. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to lose some Pikmin from this. And if I save the candy pot, bud, then I can probably regain at least five at the end of this with Gloman. Our cover is destructible. Alright, let's do it. I 
I wonder if I could just nuke him to Kingdom Come. Hold on. Wait for it. This is my one time. This is a pretty good start, honestly. I can half health him before he comes out of the the thing. He's gonna pull his his gun first. I'm gonna use my cover to jump on Ochi. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on. Oh, no one died. No one died. That's so lucky. That was close. I'm gonna pull the gun. He, he stood on it. That was weird. Oh, go. Whoa. Oh, boy. I lost two. Not bad. Ooh, this is good. This is good. I'm on the high ground. I can get all of them. Kind of on an island here. Just my cover wisely. Whoa! That was close. I'm essentially out of cover. Ow, ow. Lost a couple there. Come on. I'm I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Going for broke. Going for broke. Going for broke. Circle around him. Yeah. And I, I lost exactly five. <laughs> yes. Oh, more swords. Sweet. And these don't have anything in them, I don't think. All right. Well, that was cool. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Lowmen are so cool. It also, it makes me wonder, though, uh, the green onions that we saw in the end of Pikmin 1, are they Glowman onions somehow? What are they? Okay, let's flower them. And just for completion's sake, we're going to break that. Nothing. I almost, almost whistled my other Pikmin. There's that intrusive thought thing again. I do not need them. I may now leave. Let's go. You know, a thought just entered my mind. Uh-oh. If they're if they're retconning certain things in the Pikmin franchise, I wonder if the final boss isn't the Titan Dweevil. Ooh. A smoky prog proper. Oh, and it melee hatches. Oh. That's kind of cool. It looks a little bit different. Like it's darker. No, just a smoky prog. Sorry, I, I apologize. I should never have said that sentence. Just a smoky prog. Okay, this one could easily kill my entire squad. I need to be super careful here. And I will be using my items. Oh, I never used the pick pick carrots. I forgot. That would have possibly saved a few lives. I have ice blasts. Ice blasts. Let's do it. Does it work? Oh, kind of. Almost. Use another one. Not taking any risks here. Not missed. One. Two. Go! Break him. Break him quick. Bite him, bite him, bite him. Yes! Ho-ho! <laughs> Sweet. Very good. I wonder if he would have left a body. Probably not. Well, um, he might have left the pearl. It didn't. It, he wouldn't have left the pearl in um in the the night missions, but maybe he'd leave it in normal. That could have been worth a lot. Huh? Ooh, why are they giving us plastic? Hold on. And why am I sending purples to pick it up? Why are they giving us plastic? Huh. That makes me that makes me nervous. After the, after the one debacle of that one cave where I I didn't have all the stuff I or all the plastic and I had to go back twice. Kind of scared that 168 isn't enough. <laughs> 